Hi, I'm Tom, ADCP Group Manager here at Sonodyne, and today I'm going to be talking you through the core features of our new long-range seabed-mounted ADCP Origin. Origin has been designed to operate at low frequencies near 60 kHz and measure currents at distances up to 800 meters from the device. As you can see, Origin comes with a simple bracket to attach to your winch line or ROV clip, and that means it's easy to get it into and out of the water depending on whether you're doing deployment or recovery of the device. Staying near the top of the ADCP, we have an integrated LMF transducer. This field-proven Sonodyne technology can be used to communicate with the ADCP once it's deployed via a topside transceiver such as an HPT. That means that once the ADCP is on the seabed, you can communicate with it to see if it's level, if it's capturing data, and if the quality of the data is good. And if you return to the site during the deployment, it means you can check to see how much data has been recorded and whether the data quality is good, and you can even change the measurement schedule if you need to. Finally, it also means that you can position the ADCP very accurately if you have an, a USB-L system such as an HPT. And that means that the position of the ADCP will be recorded accurately in the data to be used in post-processing. As you can see, as far as the ADCP acoustics go, Origin does things a little differently. Normally, with standard ADCP designs, you'd use a monolithic ceramic. Um, and that means that at low frequencies, the ceramics have to become large in order to achieve the small beam widths normally used for ADCPs, which are typically a few degrees. Such large transducers have some problems because they're large, difficult to manufacture, and also very expensive. And in addition, when you take them in and out of water many times, they can be vulnerable to that pressure cycling, which means they can fail relatively frequently. To get around these problems, Origin uses a different type of acoustic design. Instead of having single transducers, which are large, we have these smaller transducers that project an acoustic signal onto parabolic steel reflectors. The acoustic signal from the small transducers is quite wide, and the parabolic reflector focuses that signal into the water column to achieve the small beam angles normally used in conventional ADCP designs. Because of this arrangement, which is identical to your satellite dish at home, we have small transducers, they're only about four centimeters in diameter, and that means we can pressurate them down to four and a half thousand meters, and it also means they're less vulnerable to pressure cycling. And similarly, because the transducers are small, and also because a, a piece of steel is also cheap, um, the whole acoustic system tends to be much cheaper to manufacture, and that cost saving can then be passed on to our customers. In addition to ADCP measurements, Origins also integrates our pressure inverted echo sounder or PIES technology. At the start of every ADCP capture cycle, we send an acoustic pulse from our LMF transceiver and that goes upwards and reflects off the sea surface and is then detected back by the same transceiver. So we can use that data to measure a two-way travel time. Simultaneously, we take a measurement from an integrated internal high-grade pressure sensor and by combining the two-way travel time with our pressure reading, we can calculate an in-situ speed of sound through the water column. That measurement is then fused with the ADCP data, so you aren't reliant on manual settings or the use of an external sound velocity sensor. Finally, here at the bottom of Origin is an integrated acoustic release. This mechanism is the same used in many other Sonodyne products. It means that at the end of a deployment, to recover the device, we can send an acoustic signal from topside, the release motor will fire, and the ADCP will detach from its bed frame and float to the surface ready for retrieval. We're really excited to get Origin out there into the world collecting your all-important ocean data. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure you get all the latest news and information from Sonodyne. Thanks for watching.